Hello everyone and welcome to Throttle. So today we are here again at Sri Radhe Govinda Automotive at Okla, New Delhi. And we are here to take the test ride of the new Super Meteor 650. Now, here is the motorcycle. But there are a lot of things which I need to talk about right now. This has the same Interceptor 650cc engine, but then the ride is totally different. Riding this motorcycle is a lot pleasurable or you can say it is much more fun to ride. Now, obviously that is a classic motorcycle and this is more of a cruiser, but this is much more refined and also this is much more smoother in terms of gearbox and everything. And also there are new changes. The exhaust setup is completely new. The sound is extremely good this time. Uh, it's much more smoother. Now, this one also has the new upside down front forks, which are from Showa. Now that's a big upgrade for a motorcycle at this very cost. Also the most important part is because this is a low seated or a low slung motorcycle, it is very comfortable for a rider who is short. As you can see, I am 5'10 and I have both my feet down. It's very comfortable to sit on, to hop on and the riding posture is also great. This is the uh, variant that you get in the showroom. There is also another option to actually upgrade your motorcycle. You can also have a longer and better handlebar. They have also given a motorcycle with a windshield and everything. That's the touring variant of the motorcycle which you can upgrade or configure by yourself. So this has the new LED headlamp. Indicators are still basic but then that's related to the design language. Now this has Showa suspension in the front that is the upside down fork. Now that these suspensions are tuned for the highway purposes. Now the level of detailing on the motorcycle is really good because if you look at this or all the aluminium tidbits here, 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 here and also this. The quality has definitely improved, plus this new fuel tank, this also looks really premium and really great. And that's how the engine is, we have already seen this before, and this is the exhaust. Let's just crank it up and listen to the exhaust note now. You can also change this seat without a cost, but then you have to configure it. Just come to the showroom and talk to the representative and they'll let you know how you can change the seat for free. This frame is also new. The quality has improved a lot and this is much more stronger than whatever Royal Enfield has ever offered. Now, the tire size is also different. There's 19 inch in the front and 16 at the rear. Uh, the profile has changed. That I'll let you know while we'll take uh, the test ride of the motorcycle. Otherwise, uh, this is a perfect looking cruiser because this has a big bike feel. And obviously, it is, it is very much pocket friendly motorcycle for everyone in the market right now. And let's just take you for the test ride. Let's see how this works. Let's just ride it in the city. Let's see if this gets accustomed as per the city traffic surprisingly this is way smoother than the interceptor look at this acceleration damn the clutch is uh, smoother the ride quality has improved a lot over the interceptor the gearbox is smoother there's no clunkiness like the interceptor had the clunkiness every time they're coming up with the new model or the new motorcycle even if it's the same engine it is improving even if you look at all the material used on the motorcycle the quality has improved drastically it is such a beauty to look at the speedometer is simple it's just like the himalayan scram but boy the acceleration is totally different the exhaust note So 
so these are the uneven patches and sure works absolutely fine there there's no such jerk but then obviously it is stiffer and mainly because cruisers need that on the highway now the gearbox trust me guys this is unlike royal enfield uh, hunter surprised me a lot and this time super meteor has totally changed my mind even with that bigger wheel at the front the motorcycle is so easy to ride in the city and so flickable <laughs> and this give you that proper big bike feel okay look at the tank <laughs> it's a huge humongous tank the wheel base is bigger so obviously the final ratio is totally different well dipping into the corner the motorcycle is so stable i must say suspension is actually premium although you might not find them comfortable on the bumpy roads or the rough patches because it's not made for that the rear wheel now that's 150 80 16 now that big profile also gives you a lot of traction at the back and because of which you feel planted while dipping into the corners the seat height is perfect royal enfield is exceeding the expectations this riding posture also reminds me of the thunderbird x but thunderbird x had the handlebar gone totally in the front so you had to bend your uh, back to reach but in this my elbows are totally free i'm relaxed although i just want the handlebar to come a little bit backward so i can sit more relaxed there's one more interesting thing which i really liked about this bike is that this is both city and highway compatible and the reason is simple that the gearbox is super friendly that's the sixth gear and i'm riding at 40 there's no knocking <laughs> isn't that great oh my god you can properly lean such a well balanced motorcycle this is let's just take a look at it this is the headlight now they have their own design now for the led it looks beautiful uh, doesn't feel like it has been uh, taken from someone else they have improved quality of every single thing look at the frame look at the frame now this is super strong the bi brembo brakes are not the weak point on this motorcycle anymore overall they have not left any stone unturned on this motorcycle so what do you think guys i really love the motorcycle i hope you guys would also love this take a test ride and find it yourself also i forgot to mention about the seat the seat is wide and also gives you the lumbar support if i have to pick something negative about it it's the handlebar which should reach further towards the body and uh, should align this a little bit give a better uh, instrument cluster would still prefer something like the interceptor console on this motorcycle that would give this a proper old school cruiser look the weight of the motorcycle is 240 kg i think it can easily reach somewhere around 100 and um, 50ish but that's more than sufficient to remember this is a cruiser it should act like one just do the braking test no one's at the rear i am at around 60 km an hour 3 2 1 so that's zero what's all there in the dashboard it's the fuel meter the gear indicator the odometer and there's this switch trip a trip b odometer so pretty much simple i'm in the traffic right now and this bike heats obviously it's a big engine and a twin engine so it does heat up but then in the traffic you don't feel the amount of heat that you feel on 
other motorcycles and once you are off the line even if you are riding at 20 to 30 kilometers an hour you do not feel that heat also the vibrations there are no vibrations from 0 to 10 maybe around 2 to 3 I will scale a Harley to 9 <laughs> 8 or 9 maybe so guys that's it from my side and I think Royal Field has accomplished something really great here if I was a cruiser lover this would have been my motorcycle so thank you for watching the video guys and uh, if you want something else or any other information on this do comment below thank you